Of course, the bill did not begin in Parliament. It began with the strength of women and staff who had the courage to say that enough was enough and then to demand change. I know that wasn't easy and I know it must have sometimes felt like they were fighting a losing battle. But today, I hope they'll see those efforts pay off and know what a huge part they've played in achieving protection for women and staff for years to come. That protection, of course, will be seismic for women and staff, and we should never downplay the individual difference it will make, nor indeed the significance of telling women all across the country that their privacy and dignity are not open to public debate at the point where they are receiving care. But I also want to once again provide reassurance to those who oppose this bill. If it is passed today, the bill will create zones of 200 metres around 30 sites in the whole of Scotland. Within those zones, it is true that those who oppose abortion will not be able to target women or staff accessing or providing services. They won't be able to behave in ways that try to influence decisions, impede access or cause alarm, harassment or distress. But in every other part of the country, the right to demonstrate opposition to abortion will be unchanged. Presiding officer, no democracy can survive where opposing views are silenced or where people are denied freedom to speak and express ideas. I know there are those who sincerely believe this bill does threaten those rights. I can only say that I am confident it does not, that the Scottish Human Rights Commission considers it does not, and that parliaments across the UK and Ireland have reached the same conclusions while passing their own Safe Access Zones legislation. I do not expect to convince those who still have doubts this afternoon, but I am certain that time will do what I cannot. Presiding officer, I will conclude shortly, but at stage one, I read out testimony from women and staff who encountered the kinds of behaviour this bill aims to prevent. Now, let me add to that Lily Roberts' testimony to the committee. She said, and I quote, If buffer zones had been in place when I had my experience, they would have made me feel really safe. I do not think that it is too much to ask for safety when you are accessing health care. This afternoon, that is exactly what this chamber can deliver. So I urge everyone, listen to that testimony and join me in voting for the bill at stage three. I move the motion in my name.